Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got the usual mix of things, welding, plasma cutting, a bit of machining. Um, I do some drill sharpening. And when I had this little, I got this little drill sharpening jig given. Um, and I've been playing around with my tip lap, cut a tool grinder, uh, cleaned up one or two attachments and I've sharpened some drills on there. I'll show you a little bit of that. I'm busy doing a, a welding bench in here, I'll show you a little bit of that. Uh, plasma cutting some heavy plates, a bit of welding and a little bit of fabrication. First thing is I'm going to do the draw for that little starret 0 to 1 inch micrometer. So we'll have a look in the bucket now so we can pick a name out. I dig fairly deep, I keep getting around for not digging deep. There's one. Right, the name I've got on here is Eddie Knight. Right, Ed, all you need to do, send me an email with an address on, and that'll be in the post straight away. That's quite a bit of your meal came in a uh, week before last. I sure that, but one item I don't take out of the meal is this micrometer. It's a zero to two inch one and right micrometer in decent condition. It's had a lot of use, but it's certainly usable. It's also got the adapter that makes it go from one to two. In a minute, it's a zero to two, and you put that in, and it's a zero to one inch. Quite a nice little micrometer. I have got a one uh, basically the same. It's pointless to me keeping that, and I'm sure the lad that give us it wouldn't mind it being given away to someone that wants to use it. If you want a chance at winning that, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. All I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes in the bucket, it's drawn out. If you win the prize, I'll post it off to you. Two or three weeks ago, I showed this drill sharpening attachment. That I'm going to set up on one of my grinding wheels uh, to be able to sharpen drills. I've got quite a lot of, of blunt drills. Then I remembered my tool cutter grinder, which is sitting behind it, has basically got exactly the same setup on it. As a collar goes in there, the collar tools a drill, and that you can sharpen at any angle drill you want. The reason I've never used that is these are the collets, there's a box of collets, and they're really badly rusty quite badly cruel. I've always been meaning to clean them up and do something with it but I never have and getting this is sort of jog my memory to do something with them. I've been looking on the internet at various portions to, to take rust off. One of the favourite ones seems to be lemon juice and salt. Uh, there's no electricity involved, nothing, nothing abrasive. So I'm going to try that and see if it will in fact clean these up. So that's just ordinary household salt in there. This is lemon juice, the sort of stuff you put on your pancakes, which is basically citric acid. That goes in there, and we'll put the collets in. The collets are quite badly rusted, I'm hoping that they will clean up. If those collets would clean up, and in fact there's no collets in there, smaller than about 4 or 5 mil, the idea was to use one of these AR32 that does. Put that thread into there and I could screw it onto there and I could use that to hold the drills as I've got these going down to basically zero. You can probably get a well that's a 12 and a half so you probably get a 14 mil drill down there. I found one of the best colours and I put a diamond in there I'm just going to dress this stone up and then actually have a go at sharpening the drill. The stone's in a bit of a mess, but uh, I'm sure it will clean up. It'll be a little bit noisy this because the motor is very noisy on the grinder.
products have been soaking overnight. It's possibly best that you do this when the wipe's not in, because I'm sure she wouldn't like what's gonna go down that sink. A little toothbrush. And they're actually you come up quite nicely as they're taking all the heavy rust off them. The toothbrush probably be better off not being used for its intended purpose anymore. I certainly wouldn't like to use it to clean my teeth. So they've had a good rinse into mixed clean water. Unfortunately I haven't got a full set of colours, but I have got exactly what you see here. They've caught quite nicely. Left in the plug hole. I'm sure you'll agree that they've cleaned up very nicely. It's taken all of the, the rust off without damaging the actual collets. I mean, these were quite badly corroded. They're nice and clean now and dry. A little bit of light oil, double really 40 in there. Let them soak in there, and they're ready to be to be used. I've got a nice tape of shank drill here, good quality one. The trouble with it is, it's been messed about with. Somebody's had a, a good shot on it. It's been properly well bastardised. I'm going to put it in this little tool grinder and see if I can get a better edge on it. I certainly couldn't get it any worse. I could sharpen that by hand and make a colour hole but it wouldn't cut a hole exactly the right size of the drill. An average drill or a good drill starting point uses a 60 degree angle on there, 120 degrees. That angle is a little bit less for harder materials and we'll try and sharpen this one at 60 degrees. I've got a collet that fits on the drill so that simply drops in there, lock and ring goes onto there. Drill goes up through there. And I'm laying these flats up more or less level. It doesn't really matter where they go but I've set them level. Right so this is all fully adjustable and basically any plane you want it. The first thing I'm going to set is the angle of the drill, that's that one there, and I'm going to set that to 30 degrees. And so we'll set 30 degrees there. Next we need some clearance, that's that bit there. I'm going to put 5 or 6 degrees on, there's a little scale down here. That's 0 there. We want some that's 10, so we'll put 5 on, which is there. The feed on this is put on by that little wheel there. That pulls it in towards the stone against the spring, so we'll back it off a little bit. And we'll bring the drill in, it's nearly touching. I've loosened the wrong nut. Put a 5 degrees on. Bring the drill in, it's nearly touching the stone, which is there. That's the action you use gently across the side of the stone. Everything's tight. So if we move that in, it touches the, the wheel. It's a simple matter of doing that. And that's the other side of the drill. You can see how one side's touching and one side's not. 
obviously I've got eye protection on I'm doing this and I am grinding on the side of the wheel that's what this is designed to be used for we'll turn it round Keep going until we get it. Wait, I hope you can see the end of the drill. That's the actual cutting edge there and that one there. So it's not all the way down, there's a little bit at the end of that one. A little bit at the end of that one, but it's certainly starting to take shape. Right, hopefully now you can see we've got a nice even grind. That's a cutting face there, and that's a cutting face there. What I'm going to do is put a little bit more angle on and take some of that off, just put a little bit more relief on there. So we'll put that, it's at 5 degrees, we'll put that to 15. Right, hopefully you can see that now. That's the cutting edge down there. And that's all on the other side, there's loads of back leaf on it. And what we can do is grind some of this out of here and thin the web of the drill down so that chisel point becomes narrower, we'll just do that by hand. Okay, hopefully you can see how it's thinned out the actual web of the drill. We'll put it in the machine and try drilling the hole and see exactly what it, what it does. It's a bit of decent material. actually more tape off so that goes into that adapter and that goes into that adapter make sure it's nice and clean and that simply goes into there like that I slowed it down a fair bit we'll see what sort of result this gives I'll just try it dry at first I'm going to slow it down a little bit more and certainly, certainly drill the hole and a little bit of cotton oil certainly drill the hole, no problem at all put the even fourth out both sides that's actually into a blind hole now so that's going from nothing out to that size a little bit of stainless steel, we'll try it on that. Egg stainless steel this time. No problems at all going through there. And the swap's the same size on both sides, which is always a, a sign of a well sharpened drill. 
Okay, just drill, drill, going into a blind hole. So there's no pellet hole in the bottom of there. It's going all right. Uh, horrible swath that comes off the mouth. Nasty stuff. Nasty stringy bastards.